Um, yeah, let's plug into something that I just discovered um, today, in fact. Um, it was actually the, uh, the pre-built playbooks that are in Sentinel itself. Um, let's go and have a look. So from the, uh, from the main screen, where we're just going to go to automation. And um, then we're going to click. If, if we look here towards the top, right, you can actually see playbook template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we can see here's a whole list of different playbooks. So let's see, you know, you get ones that block as your Active Directory user uh, upon alert, and then there's the same one for the incident. So that's pretty cool. So for some of them, you know, have both. So you could, you know, navigate your playbook according to either of these. And then there's the, um, yeah, well, you know, from if you've got a Cisco environment, Palo Alto, uh, there's even stuff that accommodates Zscaler. Oh, it's quite a few over here. There's one that integrates with Jira, creates a Jira issue. So, you know, if you're adding Jira to your environment here, Microsoft's given us a, uh, should I say, a nice, easy run at this. So, yeah, there's actually quite a few things. I haven't done this before myself. So, yeah, you know, um, I'm going to, you know, let's just go through it and see, you know, which one we can, you know, simply just use. Um, oh, they've got some cool ones here for, you know, syncing Jira. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to select this one over here, URL enrichment. Um, uh, it's going to pull it from virus total, right? And I'm just going to say, you know, click over there on the right and select create playbook. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Use my default stuff that I've got. Um, I'm just going to add test there onto the name. Um, just go next. What does this say? For each connector this playbook uses, you can choose an existing connection from another playbook. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, let's just go next, review and create. Cool, there we go. Um, so that has been deployed. Um, of course, you know, you've got your usual of year. It's just as you would for you know any other playbook response to creation rule. Let's just have a look. Cool, so the it has its own built-in um, should I say uh, API connector um, yeah and you would of course you would need to give this permissions in order to access you know the uh, uh, the logic apps the playbooks uh, in your environment we just go ahead and look over here okay so of course the permissions you know these are the you know what you would require you'd probably require a um, you know an API key you know to perform that so yeah it's got it it's you know through and then it performs other stuff well this is pretty cool you know so it automatically deploys it for you and um, the only thing is of course it's just you know the connections on the permissions for each function all right cool let's see what else we've got over here um you know you could obviously select it uh, well let's have a look at the, the templates again um oh there's a couple that are actually in use already I didn't even know that. Um, oh, well, this is the ones that I've, that I've just deployed. Okay. And then it tells you over there. Um, well, we've got the guide and feedback there. Let's just select any one. Um, this is pretty straightforward, you know. So, you know, if you've got a need for automation, I would suggest, you know, have a look through this section over here um, just to see if anything... Um, uh, if anything could be useful, I know I'm going to be, you know, sifting through this to see if I can make use of any of this. It's going to be really cool. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, just remember, you know, on the as is central main screen, select automation, and then there's a new tab that has been added there, playbook templates. Cool. Leave a like. Peace.